Hi, I'm Dr. Brockmeyer from Dorsey Animal Clinic. We are located at 2909 West 12th Street. When you come to Dorsey Animal Clinic, the first person who will greet you is um, Miss Rachel. Hello, I'm Rachel and I have worked for Dorsey Animal Clinic for 29 years in July and I answer the phone and schedule appointments. Another person that you'll see at Dorsey Animal Clinic is Fran. Hi, I'm the veterinary technician here and so my job is to assist the doctor in any way that I can just to help run of the day things going along. Um, so like Dr. Brockmeyer talked about, we like to check poop samples on dogs to make sure that they don't have parasites. So people bring me this all day long. And you'll see it right here. I run this sample and I'm ready to grab this slide and I'll put it on a slide just like this and I'll look at that under the microscope and check and see if your dog or your cat have any parasites that need to be treated. So we've got our microscope here. We have other instruments to help us run those samples and all of our test tubes. Other things that we do are checking blood work on your animals. So we can check to see if they're healthy with their red and white blood cells and if their organs are functioning properly like your liver and kidneys. One of the animals that we have at the clinic is Angelica. She's our clinic cat. <coughs> This is Patch. We're going to do an exam on Patch. So the first thing we always do when they come in is we always like to get a good weight on them. And so we can see that Patch today, it weighs about 18 pounds. And then what we like to do with Patch is we like to kind of start from the tip of the dog and we work our way back to the tail. And we like to look at their eyes and their nose. And we look at their teeth, check to see how they're looking. They look pretty good. And then we kind of do a glance in the ears. And then we kind of work down. They've got lymph nodes right here, so we're going to palpate those. And then we've got some lymph nodes right here, too. And then we're going to rub our hands across their belly, and we're going to see if we feel any organs that are too big or if he's painful there. And then I'm kind of feeling his legs, his knees, to see if his knees feel all right. Okay. And then we're going to start using equipment. So then we're going to listen to his heart with a stethoscope. Hi, Patch. And then we're also going to do use an ophthalmoscope, which this is going to look in their ears. Hi, Patchy Poo. I'm going to take a peek down in his ears. Boy. Good boy, Patch. Good job. And then we're going to take a peek at his eyes. We're just going to take a quick peek. And this is called an ophthalmoscope. And so Patch looks pretty good. And so what we, some other things that we may do with Patch is that we may run a fecal on Patch because sometimes it's important to know if your dog has intestinal parasites. So if they poop, sometimes we'll get a sample of that and we'll go in there and we'll check that out in the lab where we'll look underneath the microscope to see if there's any um, eggs in the, in the, in the feces. Sometimes with dogs, we'll get actually get some blood from them and where we maybe will do like a heartworm check on them and we'll do that annually with those and we'll draw a little bit of blood from them. Um, but even if your animal's not feeling well, we can also run a test on them where we can check to see how his liver is functioning, his kidneys functioning, just all how all of his body parts are functioning or if he even has like some type of an infection. Well, if a dog is sick, lots of times they like to give you kind of red flags. Lots of times they will they maybe won't want to eat. Maybe they're lethargic, meaning that they're kind of sleepy and they're laying around the house more than they would. Sometimes they throw up. Um, sometimes they cough a lot. Sometimes they'll actually just be in pain while they're wince or they'll, they'll be vocal and say, hey, that hurts. Um, they can also limp. And so those are usually the things that 
people watch for with an animal that if they're kind of acting out of the ordinary, different from what they usually would be, then, um, then they'll bring them in to the veterinarian. That's when we get to check them out. I would bring your animal and you need to bring them in at least once a year for either vaccines or like a heart room check or just an exam. And with that, we can keep track of their weight um, just keep track of everything so that we have a, um, a good history of them. So if you know all of a sudden they don't feel well, we can tell if they've lost weight, things like that. So coming in at least once a year would be good um, for prevention. Here we usually do, we just do small animal and we do predominantly um, cats and dogs. Dr. Dorsey, the owner of the practice, he will see some, some birds occasionally and some exotic pets, but mostly we just have cats and dogs here. This is eggs. Today we're going to take a radiograph or an x-ray of eggs. Sometimes if your pet's not feeling well and you want to see if there's something in their abdomen or their tummy that's, that's wrong or if they're limping, you can take an x-ray where we can actually see kind of the insides of the animal. And so we are going to do that today. But before we do that, you have to wear the proper equipment. So you need to wear a, a, a leaded gown and a leaded thyroid shield. And we do that to protect ourselves from the radiation. There. So we can have eggs laying nice and still. And we can take a picture of his insides. So after we take the, the radiographs, then we can look on the computer screen and we can see what's going on with it. Um, here I have an example of a cat came in because he wasn't feeling very well and he was throwing up a lot and so we took some radiographs or x-rays of his abdomen and so this is a picture of a cat laying on his side and he's got his ribs laying there and his back legs and you can see his tummy and there's his kidneys there's his bladder but we also see this little opaque which means white lying in there and what happened is this cat swallowed a sewing needle so we had to do surgery on this cat to take out the sewing needle so that it wouldn't hurt his intestines and the rest of the organs in his body. Sometimes your dogs may go to the bathroom where they shouldn't be going or sometimes they go to the bathroom too often and you have to wonder or check out what's going on with them. And so you can, we can get some urine or some pee from them and we can check it out. And one thing that can happen with them is they can get actual stones in their bladder and so when we take an x-ray, this is the dog's bladder, or this is where the pee is held in the body. And right in there, you see this white little kind of looks like a cotton ball in there. That's actually a bladder stone. And so when an animal has something like this in there, we actually need to do surgery sometimes to take them out. And when you do, then you can, these are an example of actual bladder stones. So these were actually in this dog's bladder. If your pet would ever need surgery, like if they're going to get spayed or neutered, which we recommend that all your dogs and cats get spayed or neutered, um, we would do the surgery in this room and we would lay them on the table here. And for them to do the surgery, they have to be sleepy. So what we would do is we have this machine right here that helps them go to sleep. And so we will give them some oxygen or things to breathe and it also has some gas in there that makes them go to sleep so they will be sleepy on the table here sometimes if they're under surgery for a while that you need to help them with keeping fluids in their body and keeping their pressures up so sometimes we will give them some some fluid or some water or some liquids that um, through these that we would do it through a, a intravenously or through their veins that we could do that and then while we're actually doing surgery, we need to be able to see things well. And so we'll have this really, really bright light in here that we will shine down on things and we can be able to see what's going on um, to help your animal. So with dogs, just like people, that they need to go to see the dentist too. And so we like to look at their teeth to see if they have any tartar or calculi in there. We recommend that we check out their teeth once a year also, just like when you go to the dentist. If it looks like that they do need a dental, which eggs right here, his teeth look pretty darn good that I don't think we need to do that. But if they do look pretty good, we can actually do a dental on them. And when we do that, they'll be sleeping just like how we described before with that. But we have a dental machine that we would do a dental on them and we'll clean their teeth, polish their teeth. If we need to extract them or take the teeth out, um, we'll do that at that time too. But we can do all of that here for your dog or your cat. So as we're cleaning eggs' teeth, 
what we're going to do is we're going to do kind of what you have done when you're at the dentist. So we will check each of his teeth using this and that's going to measure the gums and make sure that he doesn't have any big pockets and we'll see if there's any areas or any teeth that we're concerned about and we'll go through and measure each one around each gum line and see what problems there are first before we get started cleaning. And then when we're ready to clean, we'll grab this and this will have water coming through it to keep it nice and cool as we're going along and it doesn't get the, let the teeth get too hot. And so this will scale away any tartar, any calculus that have built up, the big nasty chunks that's important to brush your teeth and prevent that from building up. But dogs don't get to brush their teeth as easily as humans do, so it's very important to keep their teeth clean. After we do that, I'll polish it. We've got our nice chicken flavored polish. It'll go through and polish each tooth after we're done and make sure there's no grooves left behind and that each surface of the tooth is nice and smooth. If any of the dogs need to have a tooth taken out, we have special tools for that called elevators that might help us to kind of loosen the tooth around the base of it and then our extractors to help take it out. So every year it's a good idea to check a fecal sample or a poop sample from your dog or your cat. What we're looking for in your dog or cat's poop is that we're looking for the actual eggs of the parasites. And so in the microscope we're looking for these tiny, tiny organisms here. So these would be an example of some of the um, parasites that can be in your dog or cat's poop. And if we don't treat them, then what can happen is they actually grow up to adult size form and when they are, you're going to have something like this in your dog or cat. So that's why it's important to check out a, a fecal or their poop every year to make sure that they don't have things like that inside of them. Thank you for coming to Dorsey Animal Clinic today. Hopefully you've learned a little bit about what it's like to be a veterinarian. If you want to be a veterinarian or you want to learn about that, you can always read some books and a great place to go would be the Emporia Public Library and they've got a great book selection where you can check out some books about what it is to be a veterinarian.